Cuse fans, it's Ken Huss of Kenny's Two Pennies. Well, sweet revenge. Into the dome after a week off for the SU football team comes the team that pretty much set in motion the dismissal of Greg Robinson, the Akron Zips. And you know what? We were going to make them exactly zip it this time. We were going to show what Doug Marone has done to improve us. But you know, the way it started, it looked like the damn Tom and Jerry show of the South Florida game again. Was that football a hot potato or something? Both teams had trouble with it. I thought Uncle Pecos was back in the dome. Whoa, what the diddle diddle dee? <laughs> oh, he, ha, ha. And you know, especially when we were trying to dig, dig it out of Akron territory, we frung when a cordon heated ride, and again we crumbled. And what that result in? An Akron touchdown. And I'm thinking, oh hell, not two years in a row. Boy, hadn't we learned anything from last year? But you know what? We did. And especially what a beast the lone Carter was in that game. A career high rushing total, 170 yards, three touchdowns. But what is it with the kickers? Both Rankovic of Akron and also Lichtenstein of Syracuse, missing field goals. Especially Rankovic there with that 39-yarder. Heck, I could have hit that thing blindfolded. But you know, Rankovic, you're from Serbia, the former Yugoslavia. And isn't the backup for you something from uh, that area of the world too? Hmm. Both you guys, or especially you, were really balking at kicking those field goals. And I kind of wonder where your backup's from. Is he from Bosnia? Boy, that really hurts a Govinan when I talk about it. And also, don't, if I keep on talking about those Balkans, I wonder if somebody's going to be Albanian me in the head. Boy, I can be really Tyrannian talking about it, especially when I'm under duress. But enough about the geography lesson, shall we? Especially after Liechtenstein missed that field goal, they decided that he was no Serbia or Bosnia or Slovenia or Montenegro or whatever Balkan nation you can think of. They decided to go to the backup there in the second half. Especially after Akron decided to tie it up. And what is it with our special teams? They weren't special. Not only did Lichtenstein miss that field goal, he also two big breakdowns on kickoff return coverage, allowing Akron a 98-yard kickoff return on the second half kickoff. 14-14, and I'm thinking, oh, we're going to start this again. But you know what? Our defense clamped down. And Delone Carter, as I said, he ran wild. Delone Ranger Carter. But you know what? He didn't have a silver lining. Of course, he didn't have a horse. He was the horse. 170 yards, two more touchdowns. And a third, fourth touchdown in it for good measure. The pass from Greg Paulus who decided not to throw it to the other team this week, 
throwing it to Marcus Sales. And by the way, did anybody get a winner for the contest? Well, you know what? I'm going to say it's Marcus Car Sales this time. Nifty little 11 yard touchdown pass. Because Sales had to pick up the slack. Because you know what? Mike Williams made a boo boo. He decided to violate team rules again. Didn't what happened last year give you any, any idea what to do, Williams? You don't violate team rules. You got to stick with the program. But you know what? A win is a win. 28-14. Sweet revenge. And Mr. Williams, we need you back this time because you know what? We got those Bearcats coming into the Dome this Saturday. The fifth ranked Cincinnati Bearcats. Who may be pl playing with Tony Pike Peak in a cast. But you know what? Sometimes when you play in a cast... Sometimes you're at your best, but we'll see. Maybe at this Halloween we can trick or treat the bear cats right out of the dome and turn those bear cats into pussy cats. Meow. And one last little bit. Nice little victory there by our basketball team against Stephen Thompson's Cal State Los Angeles. Oh, it was just an exhibition. But a nice little debut for James Sutherland. 19 points. 15 coming on five three-pointers. You know what? Two weeks from now, the basketball team tips it off for real against Albany. Let's get ready, Orange fans. The big season of basketball's coming. Wait for my preview in the coming week or so. I'm Ken Haas. That's my story. And let's keep this winning streak going, Orange Football. You don't violate team rules. You gotta stick with the program.